right. Uh, we are celebrating, of course, Women's History Month. And, of course, it's Dress for STEM Day as well. So we are honoring a pioneer in our industry, the very first female on-air meteorologist and a passionate advocate, June Bacon Bercy. Right now, we're joined in studio and so excited to welcome on board, first of all, Dale St. Clair, her daughter, uh, to kind of share some of her life with us. Thanks for being here. Oh, pleasure. Thank you for having me. Your, your mom was a trailblazer. She worked for the National Weather Service, for NOAA, for the Atomic, uh, Atomic Energy Commission. Um, she did so many things that were so trailblazing, including being the first female on-air television meteorologist. How'd she get that first job? The first job at yes. WDR? The first job was... Uh, she, she went as a science reporter, mm -hmm. and when the chief meteorologist couldn't make the 5 p.m., uh, she uh, walked into the general manager's office prepared to do the 5 p.m. She had always been prepared to go on the air as chief meteorologist. Infamous story, being in the right place at the right time, <laughs> but that key component of being prepared. She yes. was a lover of science. She grew up in Wichita, correct? Yes. And so that's Tornado Alley right there. Um, she loved science. She had a passion for it. But I read the story uh, that she had told a reporter in the Baltimore Sun when she arrived at UCLA. She said, I'm going to de declare my meteorology uh, major. And the advisor said, maybe you should think about home economics. Yes, he did. Uh, and said that was not a career for women to uh, pursue and that she should concentrate on a, a more realistic career, in spite of the fact that she was a, a tenured and seasoned math uh, whiz and, and demonstrated all kinds of high grades and qualifications. I, ima I imagine in 1950s to 1970s, that whole time period, that she came upon some challenges like that, sort of gender biases, also um, being a minority. This is, this is a tough time for a woman to take on some of these uh, science, even a science role in general. Did she ever talk about how she approached some of those obstacles? Of often, uh, because it was an example uh, that there no barrier, there are no barriers, that barriers are man-made, and, and that wow. it's our obligation to uh, figure out how to overcome them. She had many male mentors and female mentors and supporters and many distractors. And of course, she gravitated toward the supporters to get accomplished. Really incredible. She not only finished at UCLA, she went on to get her graduate degree at University of uh, Southern California, California, SoCal. Yes. Um, and, and that's just so impressive. But she took this to a new level, working in different types of science, being an advocate for the environment. What do you think she would say about today's climate and some of the crazy discussions that we're having, not only about severe weather, but how to protect water and air? I think she would be grateful for the discussion. She always said communication, which was her passion, being on the air and communicating is key uh, because being passionate about uh, our environment and community is, is uh, key to who she was. One fascinating story about her life is the quiz show. In uh, the late 70s, she went on a quiz show and she won, right? She did. She won. Part of the prize was money. What did she do with it? When she got the invitation for the quiz show, she said immediately, this is the foundation to launch the June Bacon Bursey Scholarship for Women. Cool. Um, she had not had that uh, amount to do it, but she always visualized that she was going to start a scholarship to help other women move into careers of meteorology and science and driven to win the quiz show because she knew that was going to fund the scholarship. So really, they were hours. Really, it's really a fun story, like a modern day Jeopardy winner taking her winnings and creating the Scholarship Foundation, which is around today. I, I looked yes. up, uh, I think the deadline's coming up in mid-April. Yes. But this is an opportunity for young women who are interested in science to have their education paid for. Um, her legacy continues beyond a scholarship, even into your family. I understand some of the grandkids are interested in communications and science. Communications and science and uh, math and, and engineering STEM. STEM is uh, what she was passionate about. She always said, if you're a woman and you're passionate about STEM, STEM, shoot for the stars. That's great. Do you have a favorite memory of your mom that you'd like to share, or something that you think might be inspirational for women in science? My favorite memory uh, is, is my mom was a force. Uh, and my mom, there were no barriers uh, from that she visualized. So she always visualized where she was, and that helped her overcome barriers. Uh, shoot for the stars is my motto. Uh, in my children's model, and I share that with everyone else. Dale, you have been so successful yourself um, here in New York City with your career and with your children, and we just, we appreciate you sharing the story of your mother and being such a great example of the things that she stood for. 
So thanks for being with us here on Fox Weather. Thank you very much for having me. All right, everybody, if you'd like to share the message of June bacon Bercy and her career, or maybe even invite someone to apply for the scholarship, it is going to be a deadline of April 15th. We'll share on Twitter the application so that you can check it out. But uh, pretty cool, Craig, to have a piece of uh, history explained to us right here in the Fox Weather Studios. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.